everyone, welcome to another video, it is Francesco here. So in the favourites video what we do is sort of summarise some apps, experiments, books and resources that I've discovered over the last month. Things I think will be helpful for your daily routine. Just before we get started with the June favourites, I want to thank everyone who has joined the new email newsletter. Uh, it's been great to have you, be putting out the weekly uh, emails now which is fantastic. And over the last month, we've had about 600 new subscribers to that. So welcome to everyone on that e-newsletter. If you're interested in joining it, it will be in the description below. So guys, let's start with applications. Now, you know me, I love to check out some brand new applications. And the first one on my list is called Taskful. So the idea of Taskful is to essentially highlight what tasks you want to complete and then to build up a knowledge and insight into how to track that and progress that forward. Now you can complete stuff based on percentages, which is quite nice. So it's something that we'll slowly be reviewing over the next month. And this sort of concept is fairly new, trying to blend a habit tracker with a task manager. Now the application is on iOS for about £1.99, which I think is like $2.99 in the US, but I'll include some information in the description. On this sort of topic of goal tracking, another application has sort of come into my vision and I've been testing it out a little called Perp. Now, Perp is basically very similar to the likes of Taskful, but provides a more goal slash habit tracking orientation. So you have that structure, you have the ability to track the progress in percentages or however you like, and then what you can do is add these micro actions towards a goal. Now, this could be really useful for if you're like tracking a fitness goal or a, or a weight goal, or even a project. It could be quite a nice like whole package way. So both Perp and Time for us trying to implement this sort of goal-based tracking. Another application I like to recommend comes from a meditation experience. So I was obviously I obviously meditate with the app Mindfulness. However, I've been trying recently the application in the background called Aura. Now this is a nice application. For the free version, you get like three minute, three to four minute meditations, and it's actually pretty interactive. So you can highlight uh, with the meditation app what sort of like emotion you're feeling before it, and it will design the experience around that. I found it very easy to get on with, and it's probably more interactive for a beginner user than anyone else. I think this is a very well uh, structured application that has fantastic onboarding. And finally, Twist has officially released, which is the Doist Teams uh, team communication tool, which rivals the likes of Slack and other things. I'll include everything in the description, including their products and information, but a real good congratulations to the team for pushing that one out there. So moving on to books, I don't have many updates about the books. I'm trying to read them in a sequel. So I'm reading three books at the moment, Sapiens, uh, Things You Notice When You Slow Down, um, and also the likes of uh, Lynchpin. So I'm reading them all at the same time, which is a bit distracting. I have a holiday coming up soon, so I probably will be getting them finished. One of the things at the moment I'm, I had struggles with was the read section in Todoist. I couldn't like understand how I was using it effectively. So I've recently redesigned that and now send most of my eight links over to Instapaper, which is a bit of a change for me. So I'll probably be talking about that this month. Since last month, there has been a few changes with the setup. I now have something called a Blue Yeti. This right here is the Blue Yeti. It is a new microphone that I'm using. I'm not using it for this video, but I'm using it for most of the other screen recording videos. Now I'm impressed at the moment. I bought it for about a hundred pound, which is about 150 bucks in the US. And of course, over the last three years, I haven't had a microphone. I've pretty much been using the microphone in uh, the, the, like the, how do you say it? The, the headphones, right? <laughs> and now I've got this new microphone and it's really increased the quality of the sound. I do apologize because I was actually leaning it forward like this in most of the videos and some people have commented, the Yeti fans out there, that I've been using that wrong. So thanks for flagging that up and I will be using this more often. It's like I've won an Oscar. The other thing that I have added to my system is this new sort of clip on my desktop. I'll show you in a moment. Uh, but essentially what it does is it just allows me to clip my cables so that they don't get in the way and I can easily access them, especially with the new standing desk. Moving on to the new standing desk, this has been a great little um, introduction to the like workspace. Obviously I've laid it over the table I had and now I can use this as a standing desk instead of having to get a big standing desk in and I'll probably be able to move this when we move into a new house. The desk works pretty well. I'm not too keen on this experience down here, but I understand why it's there. It's for the keyboard. So I might have to modify my setup in the next six months to 
to add a keyboard down here and a mouse down here to sort of add to the sort of workstation setup. So experiments time. Of course, experiments is where I just pick a few things over like, like, like over months and work on them in the background. So one of the things I will be doing is launching a remote work series, which is coming very soon, probably after the vacation. I've also just released a 102 productivity apps plus killer listicle on Medium. So feel free to check that in the description below. The thing that I'm doing in the background too is I'm improving my journaling experience. So one of my problems with my journaling at the moment has been, it's been very like loose. It's been very morning pages, just getting the content out and sort of like sharing it there. So I've got this like diary for the last like six, seven, eight months worth of stuff. However, now I'm starting to look at ways that I can improve it and make it more detailed so that I can add even more value to my journaling experience. So if anyone's had any positive experiences with journaling, feel free to add them below. I'm also gonna try and bring in a few more people, which means that they'll be talking about journaling on this channel, which means that I'll be able to listen in and you'll be able to listen in and learn more about that. Finally, I'm going to be interacting more on Product Hunt. For those who don't know what Product Hunt is, Go in the description, hit the Product Hunt link and sign up because they share some fantastic productivity apps. There's so many new productivity apps on there, it's great and I love to interact with you guys so feel free to add my profile but also I'm going to be interacting, sharing my opinions on brand new productivity apps that are coming out and then obviously doing reviews about them. So feel free to add me and I'm looking forward to sharing more with you guys there. Some other things, the giveaway went out last week, 10K giveaway. Uh, good thing is I, by this video, I will be approaching 11K, which is so mad. I really appreciate all the feedback, um, but the giveaway should be announced by the time I post this video. Uh, you know, there'll be a little bit of a delay because there are gonna be so many people, I think like 250 people have entered uh, the giveaway, which is amazing. Um, so I'll be slowly processing that. I have to do it as a one man team. So thanks guys for not like, getting angry. <laughs> um, I will be in Cyprus from the 5th to 20th of July, so I won't be making regular content. You'll probably get three videos a week, which I hope you're all right with. I'll try and make some content while I'm over there. There might be a week where I might slow down, but I appreciate uh, if you send me any emails, I will try and get back to them. I still will be available on email, Twitter and things like that. Just ping me on holiday and I'm happy to answer any questions you have. Uh, whatever it is, I'd love to help out. So guys, a bit of a weird update, but I've recommended some good apps here, I think, and also shared a few more setup side of stuff. Um, of course, naturally, uh, things are progressing. You know, I started the, the favorite thing like a year ago, I'd say, and it was quite weird, because like, um, things have changed a lot since then. So uh, I'm going to be doing this as a regular feature and making sure that I keep updated with this. So thanks very much, guys. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.